Good morning. Uh, my name is Michael Baltasar, and I am the Middle East and North Africa Director for Democracy International. Uh, I am very pleased to be able to welcome you all here today to the Forward Tunisia Electric Conference. Uh, the Forward Tunisia Electric Conference is the first event that's being organized under the auspices of the Forward Network. Uh, the Forward Network was established in January of 2013 as uh, an informal web-based platform for uh, civil society activists, election uh, activists. Big one. Big one. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, but as I was saying, the uh, Forward Network was established in January 2013 as uh, an informal web-based community for civil society activists, uh, election experts, technology developers, uh, media uh, citizens, anyone who is interested in learning and trying new approaches to safeguarding elections. Um, and if you visit the Forward website at www.fwelections.com, you'll find uh, a research blog where there is original research posted about uh, new approaches and tools that can be used in election observation. Uh, there is a, uh, a developer's corner for uh, programmers who are interested in building and collaborating on open source tools. Uh, and there is an Electopedia wiki for defining election-related terminology. Um, so for more information or if you want to join the community, uh, go to www.fwelections.com and like the page on Facebook to receive regular updates. Um, now, today's event uh, is really focused on uh, trying to promote understanding of how new technologies can be used to facilitate the work of groups that are engaged in election observation. And um, we have a very diverse audience here today, so just by way of definition, uh, election observation is the impartial collection and analysis of data uh, for the purposes of making an assessment about the quality of the elections, and uh, typically conducted by uh, independent groups. Uh, election observation has the ability to provide a constructive avenue for citizens to be able to engage in the election process, uh, has the ability to uh, detect and deter fraudulent activity, provide a comprehensive understanding of the electoral process, um, promote confidence in the process to the degree that it's warranted, and importantly, identify ways that the process can be improved uh, uh, through reforms. And so for the past 30 years, as election observation has evolved into global normative practice, um, the application of familiar technologies, such as mobile phones and databases, uh, has been used to facilitate the collection, management, and analysis of data. Um, and as new technologies emerge, seemingly on an ongoing daily basis, uh, there existed new opportunities for uh, to use tools that simplify data collection, uh, improve the verification of, uh, of, of findings, uh, and really to, to help visualize and analyze data in very meaningful and impactful ways. And so. Uh, well, there are a lot of observation groups that are using technology now. Uh, I know that many of you are keen to apply new technologies, and, but often it's hard to keep up and have the capacity or time to be able to know uh, what are the newest things that are available you could use that would help improve your, your efforts. And for the technology developers, uh, over the years I've met a lot of technology developers who are uh, really keen on playing a role around elections uh, in a meaningful way, but don't really understand election observation or the needs of observation groups or how they promote it playing that role. Uh, so there's a need to bridge the gap that exists between the groups that are engaged in uh, election observation or oversight activities and the tech developers who have an ability to help them. And that's why we're here today. Uh, with elections coming up in Lebanon and Tunisia, uh, hopefully in the next uh, six months. I'm not really sure. Uh, if we have a date on, on either side that we all get to work with. Um, Democracy International, with support from uh, the Middle East Partnership Initiative, is bringing together observation groups from both countries to uh, provide you with an opportunity to learn from regional and international experts who have developed uh, either free, open source, and low cost uh, tools that are user friendly and innovative and that can really help you uh, improve your observation efforts. And as well to uh, be able to identify possible ways to be able to collaborate uh, in advance of the upcoming elections. Uh, so hopefully you'll find some, some ways that uh, you can apply some of these new technologies and tools in your, directly in your work. Um, 
for the election observation groups that are in attendance today, this event is really intended to provide you with an opportunity to learn about some of the newest, most useful and innovative tools available. For the tech developers, this is really intended to provide you with a better understanding of election observation and how you can be playing a constructive role in their activities. And the ultimate goal uh, is really to, to start the process of closing the knowledge gap that exists between the two sides. Uh, so, we have a wonderful agenda today. We have some really great speakers. Um, we're going to begin with a keynote address by uh, Ian Schuler, who is uh, a globally recognized expert in the application of information communications technologies in uh, election observation activities. Uh, we're going to follow that with a panel discussion uh, with election observation group leaders from Lebanon, Tunisia, and Iraq, I believe, as well. Uh, who will talk about their work, how they are currently using technology in their work, uh, some of the challenges that they're facing, and how they see uh, technology as being useful to them in the upcoming elections. Uh, we're going to follow that with a series of brief five to ten minute uh, elect tech talks by international and regional experts who have developed uh, innovative tools that could be applied by uh, folks in the room uh, during the upcoming elections. And then uh, after lunch, one of four presentations uh, on specific applications of technology uh, in election observation to show how different approaches and tools are uh, specifically practically applied. Uh, following the presentations, uh, we'll then break out into uncompensated. Uh, and so this will give everybody an opportunity to uh, engage in discussions with experts uh, and hopefully brainstorm on some uh, project ideas that you can tangibly implement during the upcoming election. And then tomorrow, all day, uh, our experts will be made available for follow-up consultation. So at the end of the day today, or if you run out of time, um, you can set a time with one of the experts or, or of your choice uh, to be able to talk at any point during tomorrow uh, on a topic that you would <coughs> like to propose. Um, now as an incentive, uh, Democracy International is accepting proposals from participants who wish to submit an application to use an innovative approach or tool during the upcoming elections. And the emphasis is on innovation. Uh, proposals that would be eligible for consideration would need to show a specific plan to develop, adapt, or apply an innovative technological, technological tool to address uh, a problem or a challenge faced by an election observation group, or uh, to develop, adapt, or apply a, an innovative approach using technology to promote greater electoral oversight and transparency. And so for consideration, uh, proposals must be submitted within two weeks from today, uh, and uh, the awards of up to 15,000 US dollars will be made available for selected proposals. So uh, we have pre-printed applications that uh, hopefully are in French and in English and are in your folders that you picked up on the way in, uh, and um, we can send them again to you via email after the conference is over. So once again, I am very pleased to be able to welcome you here today. I'm very pleased to be welcoming people who are watching via live stream. Uh, I'm also very pleased that we're going to be re uh, recording today's event and hopefully capturing this and sharing this more broadly than we couldn't make it today. Uh, I'm hoping that people will use the hashtag FWElections for those of you who are on Twitter <laughs> to try to spread the word even further. Uh, and I really look forward to uh, a really great event today. And so thank you very much. Schuler of the Executive Director of New Rights Group, or NRG. Uh, NRG is a collective of globally recognized experts who uh, their expertise is in helping groups to apply technology to affect social change. Uh, and Ian has personally worked very closely with election observation groups for more than a decade to apply technology as a tool and an observation exercise. It was a pioneer in developing uh, SMS reporting as a means of collecting uh, data. Um, Ian is going to be talking about the state of technology and election observation today and what he sees as the future of applying technology in election observation. Ian. Thank you very much. Um, well, thank you.